What's up guys, main man Sui here, hoping you're all doing awesome as always, and me, I'm doing great. Thanks for asking, I hope you did at least. And this is a very special video for me because it's something as rare as a sponsored video on my channel. I don't do many of these because most companies and agencies that reach out to me want me to perhaps promote products that I'm not very interested in, so I don't wanna talk about them. But Ben Q reached out to me with this thing and said, could you do a review of our projector? Really cool, isn't it? The X1300i gaming projector. And this immediately made a lot of sense to me and I knew I wanted to try it out. And this is because I'm a gamer, you know, spoiler alert on this channel. But also in case you don't know, I'm a huge movie buff. So this is like, okay, uh, games on a projector must be really awesome, you know, huge image movies on a projector, like home cinema, home theater system. Uh, okay, you know, I really have to try this out. And uh, yeah, let's just say I wasn't disappointed. It immediately made sense and I don't see myself like ever owning a TV again. So 10 years ago, I would have a 40 inch TV, right? And then every two years you switch it out. It's like 45, 50, 55. You just get used to the size and then you just wanna go larger. I mean, that tends to be how it works. Uh, but the thing is, with these things, and with this one, you get a huge image. Let's just say huge. It's the biggest thing I've ever seen. Uh, so I play, I've placed it in my living room, as you do most of the time. It stands really nicely in a corner and even by itself, like it's, it's a very attractive piece. You know, I get a lot of uh, compliments for it. It looks really cool. I think the, the coloring of it and the form, I don't know, it's, it's so sci-fi in a way, <laughs> the orange, black and white. But it's also, you're seen as a cultured person. If they go into a living room, it's like, oh, no TV on the wall or standing on a TV bench. You have a projector, you're a man of culture. I mean, I don't know if that's a thing, but it's, um, I don't know. It's like, once you try it out, you, you, you'll notice that, okay, that's, that's the logical, natural step. So anyway, it projects onto my wall, a huge image on my crisp white wall. Uh, beautiful image, rich in colors, contrast. Uh, again, it's a gaming projector, so it has very, very little lag and latency delay. I think it's like eight milliseconds per, per second, which is what? It's less than one hundredth of a second. And I've played Tekken on this, and I'm not dropping any perfect electrics or tone shit uppers in practice mode, not in real matches. Uh, and I, I can't notice the delay at all. But again, I'm 36 years old. I'm very old. But let me tell you, I had my much younger brothers over and we played on a PS5, the Elden Ring network test on this very projector. And they were absolutely blown away, just like I was. Uh, so beautiful. And they certainly did not notice any delay either. And again, as a home theater system, it is absolutely mind-blowing. It comes with an Android TV dongle where you can install literally any app, streaming service, where you can watch all of your stuff. It has a USB port as well. It also supports Chromecast, so you can use any device. I use my phone all the time to Chromecast uh, literally anything onto the device. I also, from my PC, I, I cast from VLC, movies I like to watch from VLC onto the device. Uh, any Twitch stream I watch, oh, there's a huge Tekken tournament. Uh, I watched literally, what, a few days ago, or uh, Dota 2 v International, what did I watch it out on? On this one, just Chromecast onto the device, takes one second, and there you are, everything is amazing. You can put it in the corner in the room and then it has many different ways of controlling the projection. So even though it's not projecting straight ahead onto the wall, I just put it in a corner and then you can edit the image so it gets really large and perfectly centered onto the wall. So really, if you want to, you can hide this all the way back into a corner of a room. It's just so much more pleasant to me, a living room without a TV in the center taking up space. 
So now I'm going to take a few minutes to talk about some of the plus sides, in my opinion, to owning this projector, using it, and then some of the negatives to uh, having it. So this is a gaming projector, meaning you will not only be able to use it to watch movies on or your favorite streaming services, but you can play games on it to due to having very little delay, which is super nice. And it projects an image in 1080p in 60 FPS, which obviously is what we need for gaming. The image is very clear. The light it uses is extremely strong, meaning that, you know, as many projectors need very dark rooms to operate. And in my opinion, Opinion, you're going to need a pretty dark room with curtains but even with daylight you get somewhat of an image it's going to be washed out but in my opinion it was not too bad and it's thanks to the very strong light so this gives you the home theater experience with a very large projection that you again can control in high detail using some of the controls here on the side where you have focus and scaling these two but also once you booted up the device you have advanced settings with a 2d keystone where you can literally control and distort the frame and projection however you want to. Uh, and again, comes with an, a, a remote, it comes with uh, Android TV, with everything I mentioned before, all of your streaming services you can use. You have a Chromecast uh, and you have a USB port. You have two HDMI ports and it's ready for current gen and next gen. And with that, I mean PS4, PS5 and the Xbox uh, equivalents. It does come with built-in speakers, which is really cool. I mean, I'm not very savvy on projectors, so I don't know how many of them do that. Uh, in my opinion, they were not loud enough and they didn't have enough bass. 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 That's how you say that, right? Bass. Uh, so you, you're absolutely going to want a, a surround system that you hook up to this through its uh, optical port. But it's kind of nice that it does have speakers built in and it weighs six kilograms. So if you ever take this to a friend's place, he doesn't need speakers there. You can just mount this up and you have sound. And it's not too bad uh, for what it is. And I want to mention again that it looks really cool. It's a very nice object to have in your home. And you don't need to have a TV. Projector can stand in a corner. It's very easy to set up. Even I could do it. And it's good value for $1,400 considering what you get. So for the downsides, there is no 4K. It is limited to 1080p at 60 frames per second. But even then, I felt that the 1080p looked really great. And everyone I've had over... See, seeing this projector now, they feel the image is amazing. And I'm, I'm projecting in a very large format onto the wall. So 1080p sounds doesn't sound like a lot, but it looks really great. But again, no 4K support. And on negatives, you can also mention that while the delay is very little, 8 milliseconds, there is 8 milliseconds of delay. But again, I, I can't pick this up myself. Uh, and uh, again, a projector, it's a little bit of an evening thing in that if you project in the middle of the day onto the wall where, you know, you have sunlight coming in, the image is going to be very washed out. This works much better in a dim environment in the evening or preferably in a pitch black room. But again, it has a very strong light. So for me, it works well, in most settings, but obviously I prefer it in the in the evening where it performs at its best. It also needs space. Uh, this is a projector where you need to have it a few meters away from the wall for it to project a large image onto the wall. If it's close to the wall, it won't project a large image. You have to move it a couple of meters away from the wall. It does emit some sound as well but very low. Uh, it's nothing I pick up on as I'm watching a movie, but it does emit some sound a little bit. And of course, you need a clear white wall to use it. You're probably not going to want to use a, a wall that's decorated with all kinds of stuff and high con contrast colors everywhere. So you need a bright white wall with a lot of free space where you, you project your... Uh, 
your image and again the projector uh, the projected image does look better if you, also if you have a projection screen or projector screen i think it's called it's nothing i use you don't really need it but i know it it could make it uh slightly better and especially during the daylight screenings i think but uh, it's nothing you need i just use the projector on my wall and uh it looks great uh, so those are my thoughts on this projector. Uh, I freaking love it. I'm going to keep it. Uh, never going back to a TV. I hope more people discover how amazing these things are. And especially these days now that you can actually use them for gaming as well. Uh, so yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed my take on this. And thanks for watching the video. Take care.